A lovely goal by Tregenza. He was on the end of a series of hand passes, but the Adelaide Crows fans have got plenty to cheer about. They get their 11th goal, and they are hanging in there. 11-8 plays 13-11. Yes, a long loping handball there from Maynard. Puts Tregenza in space and he ends up finishing with a goal. Good bit of play there by Simon Tregenza. He's one of the playmakers for Adelaide and he's been down a little bit today. 13-11, 11-8, the scoreboard. Jarman, no, it comes out to Abbott. Abbott kicks it quickly. Up towards full forward. No, Maynard, well done. Juggling effort and he marked it. Certainly marked it in my book. Fitzroy okay. fans not happy. Well, that goal was Tregenza's fourth in his career for the uh, Adelaide Crows. He played 17 games last year and is third this year. I think that's one area where he does lack in his ability to kick goals. Short kick, Wiedemann. Goes long towards centre half forward. Smith nearly took the mark. Taken away by Hart. He may have been moved. Short kick in towards the pocket. Hodges gathers nicely. Onto the right foot. Doesn't go really all that far. Bounces awkwardly. Gale does it well under pressure. Broderick gets it wider still. Seacamp in the back pocket. Still they fiddle around with it. Broderick goes further back. They only need a little bit of misfortune and they'll hold it in. Morris, hand below the top, Jarman. Short kick. Goes nowhere. Oh. Bone has lost all idea. And at half forward, the ball will be bounced. Well, I guess a little bit of an excuse there for Randall Bone. The ball was floating. It was a bit of a mongrel floater from Jarman. We see Dundas coming off the ground and Wielden replacing him. But I think the Crows are just edging their way back into this game and uh, danger signs for Fitzroy. Edging the operative word. Gale, Blakey, long looping hand pass to Ross Lyon. Ooh. Oh, beautiful hip and shoulder by Bickley. And the kick subsequently hurried right up in the air. Abbott, hard to mark. Jarman reached the play well at the back of the pack. Might have got a push in the back for his trouble. The umpire says nothing for it. Play on. McGuinness will do just that after tangling with guard. Now the umpire has found a free kick. And it's going Fitzroy's way. Well, I just want to make comment on that hip and shoulder from Bickley. If he had have tackled him, the Fitzroy wouldn't have got the kick away. And I tell you what, that's the most pathetic bit of umpiring I've ever seen in my life. He let one push in the back go, then gave the other one. Jeremy Gard didn't even think it was a free kick. Umpiring right. always seems to have a play in there oh, when these two oh, sides Jared, it's so critical though. Look, now he's within goal scoring distance. Gard from 49 metres will get the distance. Just... Ball right on the line and rushed over for a behind to Fitzroy. So in the wash-up, it may prove valuable. 13-12 to 11-8, 16 points is the difference. And we've got under seven minutes left in the third quarter. The mark taken by Tregenza. The kick by Patterson. Patterson out towards the centre wing. Maynard with the target. Smith is there likewise. Morris beats them both. The ball sits kindly for him. He'll have to be quick. Good tackle by Smith. He gets a boot to the ball to get it clear of his opponent and over the boundary line. A good effort and applauded by Ian Robertson. And so it should be because uh, that's where the Crows are lacking. They're not uh, putting pressure on the Fitzroy backman. They need to turn the ball over more. And that was one example from Darren Smith who's had plenty of time on the interchange. I think he might be spending a bit more time out in the ground after that effort. Wren from behind, taps down. Brown has the front running, can't make anything of it. The ball straight over the boundary line again for another throw in. So the last few minutes of the third quarter are going to be pretty important. We've got six minutes left. Anybody's game. Abbott at the back. Wren in front. McCormack. McGuinness. And about six others. And there's going to be another bounce right on the CUB sign. Centre wing out of side. The Crows really are getting slaughtered when the ball's in neutral. When it's being bounced down or being thrown in. McCormack, Broderick. And their other co-combatants are really killing the Crows players. Lee, a quick kick. Morris doesn't get the bounce that he would have wanted. Smith does the shepherding. Flicked out to Jarman. Brown, goal on the run if he's accurate. And he has kicked the goal. So Brown, who kicks his second goal for the afternoon, brings the Crows closer again. His third, 13-12 to 12-8. Yes, well, here we see Jarman getting himself involved in the play. In the attacking side of centre, puts Brown into space, and he lets go with his third goal with the left boot. Well, we look as though we're going to have a, uh, an exciting last quarter here at Princess Park. The uh, difference between the two sides hasn't been all that great for the entire afternoon. Attempted kick off the ground there may have been deemed in danger. 
and it's against the Adelaide side. The free kick will be taken by Wind. He gets it away to Baldwin. Baldwin's kick to left half forward, gathered by Caven, and his kick is a beauty. Oh, that was an excellent kick. Beautifully weighted and allowed Osborne to run onto it. Ben Hart had no chance there. So Osborne a chance to kick his fifth goal. 40 metres out. Angle a little tight. Kicks it out to the right. No breeze here this afternoon. And nearly a mark. It's a goal anyway. A lovely little kick by Broderick, is it? In that forward pocket. What a lovely short kick that was. Summing it up and popping it through. So Broderick has kicked 1-1. One, one. As we watch that again, Osborne's kick high into the goal square. Yes, a big pack of players went up. Broderick, smart enough to stay down. He pops through a lovely goal. I'll just ask the question once again, where was Andrew Jarman? Into the centre, 96 tries 80. Again, Fitzroy leading by 16 points. Abbott onto Jamie Elliott. And Elliott's kick up towards half forward. No one can take the mark. Getting taken out was Wielden. Lee with a quick kick back across his body. And the mark is taken by Wren. Looks for someone to give it to. That someone turns out to be Tony McGuinness behind him. And McGuinness looking for distance with his kick. Big pack of players on the right half forward flank. Marshall is the first to recover. Oh, excellent smother by Morris on that attempted hand pass and it's out of bounds, 65 metres from the Crows' goal. So boundary throw in. Knocked down by Smith. Good tackle by Lyon. Might come out with a football after it's spilled from McDermott's hands. Ruse in front. McDermott, good tackle. Wine. A quick kick out of the pack. Two Adelaide players are there. Oh, Gale. Let one go on uh, Tregenza. A high tackle not seen by the umpire. McDermott on his own as Smith. Had good position. Had a meal of the mark. The angle's not too good for him. Into the goal square. Brown, could he make it four goals? Couldn't quite take that. The ball was tapped back towards Wine. Smith again. We'll look for a hand pass. Lip tack. Snapshot. Off target. And one behind or out of bounds. It's one behind. Hit by Matthew Lip tack. There's 1-1 one, one against his name. 14-12, now to 12-9. And the three minutes left in the term. McCormack has played an excellent game today. Brown will stand the mark. Gale makes a lead to get wide of Marshall. He's ignored that and gone the more direct route. He's found Blakey in front of Hart. Blakey goes to the outer side. Plenty of space out there for Baldwin to run. If the ball sits kindly for him, he'll have to get past Regenza, and he does. Kicks it across his body. The bounce is awkward out there for Broderick. In comes Wiedemann. McDermott. Further wider to McGuinness. Chipping in is Tregenza. Short pass is OK. Daryl Hart is marked outside 50. No one up there to kick it to, so he's going to have to bomb away. McGuinness is running into the pocket. But Jimmy Wine was quick to sum that up. So Daryl Hart forced to kick long, and he does. Not a bad kick either. Just misses to the left. And true for one behind to the Adelaide side. So 12-10 plays 14-12. Now they've still got some chance, Adelaide. They just haven't been able to kick a succession of goals, whereas Fitzroy, every time Adelaide have got one, they've come back and kicked a goal in response very, very quickly. The ball now up towards half forward. Ruse marks in front of Smith. Good running from Ruse, coming down from centre half back. Ruse now into the pocket. Leach. Patterson holding on. Lynch does well. Ball left behind by all players. Bickley at the bottom of the pack. Wielden handball to no one in particular. Overrunning it there was Lyon. Jarman still in there. Well done, Darren, uh, Andrew Jarman. Away to Marshall. Marshall's kick. Brown and Elliott. Well done, Elliott. Kept his eye right on the ball and thumped it over for a boundary throw in. Well, that was David Marshall's fifth kick for the game, and really he's been very quiet. Michael Gale has dominated the wing closest to the TV cameras. Jarman injured too. Looks in a bit of bother behind play. As we come back to this throw in, Smith taps the ball down. Doesn't find a teammate initially. Gale is there, applies a good shepherd for Blakey. Blakey looks for someone down the ground to give it to. Marking contest, and then really in the end it was no contest because Caven had front position, did well. Sticky fingers, kicks high towards full forward. Ben Hart did well with the quick Osborne. 
And he goes out of bounds, so does the ball as he tried to dispose of Big Wren. And why wasn't Ben Hart allowed to run all the way through there? That's the, uh, the old rule in footy, isn't it? Yes. Wren yes. goes in at Shepherds and lets the man come through. Yeah, Wren took, took the uh, players' run there. Marshall to lip tack for the Crows. They've still got time to get a goal before three-quarter time if they're good enough. Up to the edge of the square, McGuinness held out of the contest. McCormack playing a magnificent game, Ruse. Back to Elliott. Much improved player this year, Elliot. Not much of him, but he reads the play well. Pregenza goes down with a high one, was it? So too does Caven. And it was Lyon that's down. Too too slow. The glasses. Jarman is too slow at holding the ball. And the free kick will go to Baldwin. Baldwin with the free. Get play moving quickly. Wren over the top. Tried to take the spec. He couldn't do so. There's the siren for three-quarter time. And we've got a real ball game going into the final quarter as we check the scores. Fitzroy leading 14-12, 96 to 12-10, 82.